All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I am eating curry kabocha and kale soup with crumpled tempeh, okay? And um, actually, it's curried uh, butternut squash soup because my crow ghetto didn't have that um, kabocha um, squash. So, yeah. And this is my contribution to the One Big Happy Family um, 2021 kickoff collab. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Even if you aren't, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications. The next time we post a video, leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook, interact with us because we'd like to hear from you. I'm gonna say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment to our bodies and health in Jesus' name. I pray, Amen. Um, like yesterday's video, I will be probably looking over. Um, this way just because um we are doing the one big happy family collab i was supposed to have recorded this video on wednesday but you know the country was on some trash on wednesday and um yeah it was just a lot going on so anywho so hopefully the cooking video i don't know how the cooking video is gonna look because when i was um i um uh, doing most of the actual soup part or whatever it freaking was not recording and i was trying to do it on my phone um let me take some of this and then we'll we shall talk all right so boom this how the bit went <laughs> y'all know that person on tiktok i don't know i'm gonna get his name it's funny anywho all right so we're starting off we're gonna need two stalks of celery you're gonna need a whole onion you're gonna need some garlic and whichever squash you decide to use i decided to use some butternut squash here i am chopping up some celery it said thinly slice your celery then you're gonna chop your onions up then you're also going to get some cloves of garlic you're going to chop those up if you don't feel like using cloves of garlic i am pretty sure that using minced garlic is okay i just you know i was already in the store so i was like let me just go ahead and get these pre peeled okay cloves of garlic because y'all know you're a lazy sometimes and you know anything i can do to make my life easier that's what i'm gonna do um, I got the thing on my head that y'all will see later on in this video. So if my camera is a little unsteady, that is why. Um, <laughs> I decided to do it GoPro style, basically, but it's with my phone. So here I'm just thinly slicing this garlic. And, uh, you know, I like to chop my veggies up first, you know. Get that out of the way. That way when I'm ready to use them in my meal, I am all set and ready to go so chopping up the garlic do 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 still chopping all right here you are going to peel your squash again whichever squash you decide to use i decided to get butternut squash because my crow ghetto did not have the kombucha squash or whatever you're gonna peel it then you're going to um you know obviously cut it in half so you can um get the seeds out or whatever so that is what i'm doing here scraping those good old seeds out of there doing that still doing it it's still going down yep still still doing it mm -hmm. also you can see that i keep trying i had to like watch my watch basically to figure out what i was doing because i couldn't see my camera because uh you know i don't know why i like to do stuff new and make like my life difficult when i'm doing these collabs and videos that i gotta get out it's like stop ex experiment on your own time basically is what i need to be telling myself all right then you're gonna chop your squash up you know into some chunks or whatever here i was having a little difficulty chopping up the stalk part you know it was just like kind of hard anywho we're gonna chop it up so that we can get that ready to put in our pan well later on actually and uh i'll just tell you right now the seasonings that you're gonna need i'd use that uh goya sazonator seasoning um some salt pepper curry powder and i also put some turmeric in there why guys because turmeric has the health benefits for the health benefits y'all i literally like put turmeric in almost everything so yeah here's where it gets tricky okay folks because this is probably about the only thing i have um for this part with the pan so you want to um, cook your veggies um, until they get a little soft. Season your veggies, okay? I like to season at every level of cooking. So down from the veg up or down from the veggies up to the meat and whatever broth because I feel like, you know, that's where you get all that ultimate flavor or whatever. So here um, I put the veggies in. I put the celery, the onion, and the garlic in here. I season with salt, pepper, turmeric, 
uh, and curry powder. Oh no, no, I didn't put the curry powder in yet. And then I let those veggies cook up a little bit. And then I added the butternut squash. I seasoned that again with the same seasoning. So salt, pepper, garlic, onion, powder, curry, seasoning, curry powder, and uh, turmeric. And I also put that Sazonator uh, Total Seasoning in there. That's that Goya so Total Seasoning. Um, you let that cook until the curry powder becomes fla uh, flagrant. And then after that happens, then you add your chicken stock um, or vegetable, vegetable stock if you really want this to be like a truly, truly vegan meal or what have you. Um, and so this is where you see where I added. Basically, this is at the point where um, everything got cut off. So um, you bring that to a boil after you add your chicken stock. You also can season again, which I did do. And then um, you bring the liquid to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer, cover it and cook it for 20 minutes or until the squash is soft. Now, while your squash is cooking, you want to basically toast the tempeh. I don't really know what tempeh is. So somebody, you know, in the chat or down in the comment section, tell everybody else what tempeh is because I don't know what it is. All I know is that the recipe called for it. So I got some and we're doing what we're doing with it okay so i didn't season this or anything it didn't the instructions didn't say to do so although you know i rarely be following instructions i'll be seasoning and stuff anyway but this time i didn't i, I fought at least for this part so you're basically um, crumbling the tempeh up in the pan and you're going to basically try and toast it or whatever like so the little small pieces like really they toast it really well but the kind of bigger chunks they didn't or at least it took them longer to do such i don't really know work around around that this is my first time literally ever cooking with tempeh or handling it i would say so i don't really know so if anybody has any suggestions on how to i guess evenly cook or make sure that it um cooks well maybe if i would have left it in the um kind of came in a block so probably i guess leave it in the block and toast it that way and then once you're ready to like use it maybe crumble it don't give me the line because i don't know all right so here um the squash is ready so i took i have my nutri bullet i also put the remaining uh garlic cloves from that pack because what else am i going to do with them uh, put those in my nutri bullet and we're going to blend those up blend up the um, squash and then put it back in the pot uh, now again you ha if you have one of those hand like what is it what are they called those hand uh, you know blender thingies that I could have just put directly in the pot you could use I can't recall what the name of it is right now but um, if you have one of those that's what they actually what they actually show but I didn't have one so I use this you could also use a food processor didn't feel like getting that out so Nutribullet is the next best thing, at least. Okay, guys, I did not try and puree, puree it by hand. I used a machine this time. So I also did add kale at some point, but I guess that part of the video got cut off as well. So um, I did add some kale, and uh, you just add, I added like a couple handfuls until I felt like it was enough for me. Um, I forget how much the recipe said, but yeah. So then this is the topping. So you um, you know put it in a bowl. Uh, sprinkle on some toasted tempeh put some sour or Greek yogurt actually and voila you are finished ready to eat okay mm. Mm. This is really good. It's a nice flavor. I was very heavy handed with the seasoning. I don't even think y'all are gonna see that part. I will post the um the recipe in my description box, but this may or may not be just a straight up mukbang. We'll just see what the what what kind of footage I have. I 
I don't even know how it cut off. You will get a close up as well. This is really good. It's a nice, a lot of the, um, sorry, a lot of the recipes on, so basically, shout out to our guy, Big Belly Bob. He, um, got the one big happy family together again to do another collab to kick off the new year. And the idea was that basically, um, we all, there was an article that had like 31 recipes or what have you for January that of things that is good, are cool to eat in January. And so, um, you know, we all picked a recipe or what have you. Uh, some people will have um, just mukbang. Some people will cook and mukbang. And some people will just cook probably. So definitely follow us along. Today is Saturday. So, um... It is going down. It started off with Foodie Squad. I did post a um, on my community tab yesterday and today um, with the, li the uh, list of folks and the links to their channels, to the videos and stuff like that. So definitely check them out if you have missed any of the premieres or what have you. And I'm telling you, if you just jump in the first one, you're going you gonna to get to the, all the other ones or what have you. So... Because we're constantly, you know, saying who's going to be next. I never had tempeh before. I don't know what it is. I said I was going to read the pack, but I didn't. <laughs> and, um... They call for you to have one of those, um, which I don't know why I don't have one, but now it's going to be on the list because I like kitchen appliances. But uh, they call it to have one of those things that you put in your food and then it, um, it's like a food processor, but it's a handheld food processor, you know? I don't have one of those. I do have a food processor, but... It was kind of under the that box was under other boxes, and so I just used my Ninja Bullet blender or whatever, or not Ninja Bullet, my Nutri Bullet. This soup is really good. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get fancy with the editing as far as putting folk on the screen or whatever. Just because I'm premiering tomorrow and this is Saturday. Now, Bob, I want you to know, okay, I was not trying to give you a heart attack this time. I keep, I was um, joking with my friend Yasmin because, you know, I had really planned on this video being done on Thursday or whatever. That way I didn't have to worry about it, but... Life, y'all. Life. I mean, I kind of just got, ended up getting busy. I didn't, did I, I did have to record a video yesterday, but that was for today. I was working yesterday.
also oh so another reason I don't know why I be trying to do new stuff when I'm, um, when I, like, these videos, like, definitely, you know, and they some stuff that's pre-recorded or something I gotta get out, but anywho, so today I was trying to use this thing, so, me and, um, uh, my sister-in-law, we were, well, she was on TikTok, she told me about this thing, basically it's like a chest, it's like a chest harness, and I can, like, have my camera right here and, like, record like that. So then I realized, I was like, mm, well, I can't really use that one. Not for what I'm, the cooking video, because it didn't see high enough over the pan. So then I had this one that's on my head. So a lot of the cooking video, well, the, the cutting up of the veggies part and stuff like that, may be a little hectic because, um, was I going to say? Uh, excuse me. The, uh, you know... My head just kept moving. Like, I was trying to pay attention to what I was doing. So, like, or, like, try to keep my head still. But it was not perfect. So. It may be a little shaky. Let me get it. Because I think it's funny. It's pretty cool. But this is going to be cool to vlog. I mean, now I know I'm probably going to look real crazy when I'm out in these streets. But, and so I was, like, trying to have this, like, you know, try to tilt it down. Then it's like, oh, try to keep my head straight. But then, you know, trying to be normal. Or, like, put, angle it in a way that would be normal to, you know, me just looking, looking down while I'm cutting. You need some good hand-eye coordination, okay? Some dedication. This, um, what was I about to say? This soup is really good, though. I like the topping. So you top it with um, toasted tempeh and Greek yogurt. Really good. I added a whole bunch of kale and some other, um, the only seasonings they had in there were, um, um, salt, pepper, and, uh, curry. I also added, uh, garlic pepper. I mean, I'm, I also used garlic powder, onion powder, and the sazonator, Goya sazonator seasoning. And I didn't measure the uh, KO, I just kind of added it until I felt that was enough. So I think that this could totally be a vegan dish if um, I use chicken broth, so that's the only reason why it's not. But I think it did say vegetable. And it's a vegetable or chicken, I just decided to get chicken. I'm sure that tempeh is a vegan thing, I believe. And yeah, I you know, the seasonings and everything else is. But this recipe came, like, from a clean eating, like, you know, start January over clean eating type thing. Also, I really like, I'm so excited about my, I got a couple new bowls, so they're all like this style of bowl, but, um, just like four different sizes, because like, I have other bowls, but, you know, doing YouTube, you need to have some clear stuff, and I don't have a lot of clear bowls that were like sizes that I needed. So if you like um if you like squash, butternut squash, if you like curry, I definitely recommend this. It's really good.
I don't know the difference between kabocha squash versus butternut squash. I don't know. I know butternut squash is like really sweet. I know that, but I don't know compared to the other squash I was supposed to use that my girlfriend didn't have. So I didn't use it. <laughs> But yeah, I hope y'all Sunday is going well. Thank you so much for joining this premiere. Thank you so much for kicking it with the one big happy family all weekend. If you missed anybody's premiere, definitely go back and check them out. All of the channels, times, links will be in my description box as well as on my community tab. Um, and what else? I'm going to keep this to like, excuse me, the eating part until to like 15 minutes because I don't know how much uh <laughs> how much if any of the cooking portion I have well I know I have like the cutting of the veggies y'all I mean but we know how I cut veggies huh the part I don't have is stuff that I was doing in the pot but yeah I am done I am definitely full I'm feeling all good because this was nice and healthy, I feel like. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know. Thanks for see us try. Thanks for see us cook. And like those because you do like to hear from me. And subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. We will see you in... Oh, wait. Let me tell you who's next after me. So, I mean, immediately after you click off this video, I mean, after you click off, okay? Let me tell you who you're supposed to go over to, okay? We are, uh, excuse me, heading over to the Masked Vegan, okay? So, after me, after you click off this video, go over to the Masked Vegan, check his video out, because he premiering at 8 o'clock, okay? And then after Masked Vegan is me and Mrs. Jones, okay? She gonna round this thing off, you feel me, okay? And I hope she be singing up in there. Anywho, thank you so much again for watching this video. Again, we're going over to the Mass Vegan. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.